Morocco has done it again in a move that has stunned the global aviation industry. The North African Kingdom has inked a jaw-dropping $370 million deal with French aerospace giant Safran to build a new engine assembly line for Airbus jets and a massive maintenance and repair facility near Casablanca. Yes, you read that right. Morocco is not just flying high, it's rewriting Africa's place in the skies. This groundbreaking partnership is more than just an investment. It's a declaration that Africa's future in advanced manufacturing and aerospace technology has arrived. But how did Morocco reach this point of industrial dominance? And what makes this latest deal so extraordinary? To truly understand the magnitude of this achievement, we must look back at Morocco's incredible rise as an aviation powerhouse. The country's aerospace journey began humbly in the 1950s when Royal Air Mar was born soon after independence. Back then, few could have imagined that a simple maintenance unit at Casablanca Airport would one day form the backbone of an African aerospace revolution. That maintenance center's 1998 certification by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration marked Morocco's first recognition on the global aviation map. But the real spark came in 1999 when Snegma, now Safran, partnered with Royal Air Marat to service CFM-56 engines, the world's most widely used jet engine. That initial $10 million venture planted the first seed of what would later blossom into one of the most dynamic aerospace ecosystems in the developing world. Then came 2001, when Boeing and Safran joined forces to establish Mattis Aerospace in Casablanca, producing intricate wiring systems for Airbus, Boeing, and Dassault aircraft. This facility now ships 150,000 wire harness sets annually and employs over 1,000 technicians, 70% of them women. Who could have imagined that Morocco would one day rival major European manufacturing hubs? Now, two decades later, Morocco is not just maintaining aircraft. It's building their beating hearts, the engines. The first phase of the new Safran deal involves a $139 million state-of-the-art engine assembly line that will produce around 350 Leap 1A engines annually. For context, that's roughly a quarter of Safran's total global output for Airbus aircraft. These Leap engines, manufactured under CFM International, a joint venture between Safran and GE Aerospace, power the Airbus A320neo, Boeing 737 MAX, and China's Comac C919. In other words, the engines Morocco will be assembling are at the core of global commercial aviation, propelling the world's most popular jets. Just imagine that, planes flying across Europe, Asia, and the Americas could soon be powered by engines assembled in Africa. Is that not mind-blowing? But that's only half of the story. The second project under this deal is even bigger. A $232 million maintenance, repair, and overhaul facility expected to be operational by 2027. This high-tech hub will service about 150 engines each year, offering complete life cycle support for airlines across Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. This means Morocco won't just build engines, it will maintain and repair them a game-changer for Africa's aviation service capabilities. The days when airlines had to send engines to Europe or Asia for overhaul might soon be over. Could this make Casablanca the new Dubai of engine maintenance in Africa? Safran's decision to expand in Morocco is no accident. The company's CEO, Olivier Andries, has made it clear that Morocco's economic stability, skilled workforce, and strategic location were decisive factors. Morocco has become a rare haven of predictability in a turbulent region, a country that understands the long game of industrialization. For Safran, which already has several facilities in Morocco, this expansion is not just about cutting costs. It's about future-proofing its supply chain. With geopolitical uncertainties reshaping global trade, why wouldn't a company like Safran choose a location that offers both cost efficiency and geographic proximity to Europe? Let's not forget who Safran is. 
This French aerospace giant is one of the world's leading manufacturers of aircraft engines, landing gear, and avionics systems. It's a company trusted by Airbus, Boeing, and militaries across the world. And Airbus, Europe's aviation crown jewel, is the second largest aircraft manufacturer globally, producing hundreds of commercial jets each year. So, when two of the world's most powerful aviation companies join hands with Morocco, it's not a small deal. It's a monumental vote of confidence in Africa's industrial future. Safran's choice of Morocco reflects a clear message. Africa is no longer a market for consumption. It's a partner in production. Over the years, Morocco has been steadily crafting this moment. The government's industrial vision, first mapped out in the 2005 Plan Emergence, identified aerospace as a key growth sector alongside automotive and electronics. Then came the creation of Midpark Aerospace City in Nouassir, a sprawling purpose-built industrial zone near Casablanca that offers tax breaks, duty-free imports, and world-class infrastructure. Today, Midpark hosts more than 40 aerospace companies across 125 hectares, generating over $1 billion in annual exports. With over 150 aerospace firms now employing 25,000 people nationwide, Morocco's aerospace exports hit $2.8 billion in 2024, up sharply from the previous year. Doesn't that sound like the blueprint for an African industrial miracle? And Morocco isn't stopping there. The country is deliberately positioning its aerospace sector to mirror the success of its booming automotive industry, which has already made it Africa's top car exporter. Boeing, Bombardier, Airbus, and Royal Air Maroc are all expanding their presence in the country, while Moroccan training institutions like the Institut des Métiers de la Romantique, established in partnership with Safran, Boeing, and Airbus, continue to churn out highly skilled engineers and technicians. With such momentum, could Morocco soon rival traditional aerospace hubs like Toulouse or Hamburg in terms of technical sophistication? The benefits of this new Safran deal are immense. For Morocco, it means hundreds of new high-skilled jobs, technology transfer at the highest level, and increased foreign exchange earnings. The presence of such an advanced production and maintenance ecosystem will strengthen the entire industrial chain. From local suppliers to logistics networks, it will also boost Morocco's reputation as a reliable and technologically advanced destination for manufacturing investment. For Africa at large, this represents something far greater. Proof that global aviation giants trust African soil to deliver world-class precision engineering. Could this finally shatter the stereotype that Africa can't compete in high-tech manufacturing? Morocco's achievement deserves immense praise. By daring to partner with top-tier aerospace companies like Safran, it's not only lifting its own economy, but also redefining what's possible for African nations. It's showing that strategic vision, stability, and investment in education can turn a once-aspiring nation into a global player. Every turbine blade, every precision bolt assembled in Casablanca will stand as a symbol of African excellence taking flight. In the end, Morocco's $370 million engine assembly line is more than a deal. It's a message to the world. Africa is ready, ready to build, ready to innovate, and ready to lead. If Morocco can rise to this level of industrial sophistication, what's stopping other African nations from doing the same? Africa's future will not be written in aid or dependency. It will be built in factories like Midpark, in partnerships like Safran's, and in dreams that dare to look beyond the clouds. Your perspective matters. What do you make of Morocco's $370 million aviation partnership with French aerospace giant Safran? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the new Africa Wealth and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our informative future videos. Stay informed, stay engaged, and thank you for watching.